Hey everybody, my name's George. And I'm Toby. And we are Wildlife Rangers, right here at the Ranger HQ. And you're here just in time. We are in charge of the zoo pad, and we are filling it with information about animals, conservation, and the natural world around us. Let's take a look to discover which animal we need to find out more about today. The flamingo. What habitat do flamingos like to live in? Hmm, <clears throat> what habitat? Oh, well, they like their home here at Ranger HQ, but uh, how can we find out where they live in the wild? Toby, shall we take everyone over to the flamingo habitat to try and find out more? Absolutely! But before we do, make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of our ranger adventures. Are you ready? Let's go! Welcome to the Flamingo Enclosure. It's so cool in here. You can even see other birds as well that the flamingos like to live with. These flamingos here at Ranger HQ are from the Caribbean, which is why they're called Caribbean flamingos. But there are six different species of flamingo altogether. In fact, there are so many types of flamingo that the only places you won't find them are in Antarctica, where it's really, really cold, and in Australia. George, oh, look at them. Why are flamingos pink? They look pretty jazzy, but why? Flamingos do look incredible, don't they? Did you know they actually get their bright pink colouring from the food they eat? They eat a kind of shrimp that has something in them that turns the feathers of flamingos pink. This is called a pigment. And you can find the same pigment in carrots. That's why carrots are orange. Uh, maybe if we eat enough carrots, we'll turn pink too. One of the names used for a group of flamingos is a flamboyant. They can live in groups of up to 10,000. Whoa, that is a lot. To help them stand out when they're trying to find a partner, they do a dance. When they've found a partner and they're ready to lay eggs, they make their nests out of mud. They look a bit like muddy sandcastles with a little dip in the top for the eggs. Flamingo babies might be really cute, but they're not actually pink when they hatch. They haven't eaten any of the shrimps yet, so because they get their colour from the food they eat, they're actually grey at first. Can you sleep on one leg? I know I can't, but flamingos can. They must be great at balancing. You know, this is still a bit of a mystery as to why they do it, but some clever scientists believe this helps the flamingos to save energy, and because their legs get cold, Tucking one away inside their feathers means they only get half as cold. Clever! Flamingos are what's called a filter feeder. This means they filter the food from the water in the wetland environment they live in. Oh, wait, we did it! The zoo pad wanted to know where flamingos live, and we have learned that they live in wetlands. Great! Uh, wait, what's a wetland? I think we need a fact file, George. Let's load one now. Lots of different animals live in wetland environments, including beavers, crocodiles and flamingos. But what is a wetland? Let's take a look to try and find out more. Number one, land covered in water. Wetlands are areas where the land is covered in water or soaked in water for most of the year. This means it can be a bit like a sponge, soaked in water and all boggy and wet. How wet it is can change throughout the year. Sometimes it can be wetter or drier and this is usually a good thing for the types of animals that live there. Wetlands also naturally clean our water too by acting like big filters, filtering water that runs off the land, which can sometimes have chemicals in it. Wetlands stop the chemicals from reaching the water, making it safer for animals and humans that live nearby. Number two, all the animals. Lots of different species live in wetlands. This includes lots of different birds, including kingfishers, ducks, 
geese, and of course, flamingos. When birds are migrating or traveling long distances, they use them like pit stops to have a rest and something to eat. Different mammals also use wetlands. These include animals like capybara, otters, and even tigers and jaguars. Did you know jaguars have webbed paws to help them swim in wetlands? Wetlands are also home to lots of fish, especially in mangrove forests. Fish use the small spaces between the roots of the mangroves to shelter from predators. And the mangroves are also a great source of food for them too. Number three, different types. There are lots of different types of wetlands, including rivers, marshes, and sticky wet bogs and swamps. Wetlands also include mangrove forests, and we have planted lots of mangrove trees in the George and Toby forest. Check out the description below to find out more about our forest and how you can get involved helping the mangroves. Planting mangroves is really important, not just for the different animals that live in them, but also because the roots give structure to the land they grow in. This means it holds the land together and helps to stop it from being washed away by moving water. Great! Now I feel like we know where flamingos live and what wetlands are. So are you ready to help me pick an answer? Great! So, which of these do you think is the wetland home of the flamingos? Do you think it's this one, the dry sandy desert? Or this one over here, the really watery wet land? That's right, it's the area with all the water, the wetlands. Flamingos and lots of other animals live in wetlands, so protecting them is important. Not only that, but wetlands also help our planet by storing what's called carbon. If carbon escapes, it can cause the planet to warm up, which is called global warming. And this is really damaging to lots of plants and animals all around the world. By watching our videos, you help us to plant trees that protect wetland areas. So thank you for your support. And thanks so much for helping us today. The zoo pad is now filled with lots of information about flamingos, and we know that they live in wetland areas. Good work. Remember, if you liked this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any ranger expeditions. I can't wait to see you on the next adventure. Goodbye. Goodbye.